Yo, what's happening, man? Welcome back. It's to my YouTube channel. I'm at the DJ.com. Uh, your favorite host, your favorite YouTuber, comedian, slash music player, slash designated Cara City Stepper. What's up? I know y'all glad to see my face. Y'all like my little polo from Walmart. I button it up to the tippity top. You know, y'all like that? Yeah. But anyways, man, welcome back. I'm gonna try to post most videos for y'all because um I'm like the laziest YouTuber ever. I never earned a dollar from anything on the internet. So I guess in my head, I don't really be wanting to be on this motherfucker too much. But anyways, we're gonna go right into the topic. The topic is about Desi Banks, you know. He was on Uncle Shay Shay show and he was kind of talking his or telling his story. And one of the parts of his story was that he was in a relationship with a young lady. The young lady did not agree with his income and she then proceeded to escort him out of the apartment she paid for. Can I roll the footage? Y'all, y'all gotta load it. Roll, roll, roll that motherfucker. Yeah, all right. yeah um, that's when I was first, uh, you know, in my beginning stages, of, you know, really chasing my dream of comedy. Um, at the time, I felt like um, she didn't believe in my dream and my goals. I used to want her to support me so much. Um, I, you know, I thought there was gonna be a woman I was gonna be with. You know what I'm saying? I did a lot of stuff with, with, with her. You know what I'm saying? Every dime that I got and where I was working, I, I gave to her. The only thing I wanted to do was get me a, a haircut and, and pay my cell phone bill so I could, you know, right. shoot my video. Right, they don't need um, that much. But I felt like at the time, the, the money, uh, it wasn't coming fast enough. Right. You know, it, it wasn't there. Be like that. So she went to, you need, you need to get a job. You need to do this, you need to do that. Um, well, I can't do this no more. So you, you know, you might have to, you know, go do something else. So it, it sent me to my grandma's house. You know, since so I was staying with my grandma for a little minute, and at that moment, but that happened at late, late at night. That was hey, like, yeah, yeah. G Mark gonna always hold like, you down. So you every time, like two, three in the morning. Uh, yeah, I, and every like, time. Shout out to grandma. I cried. I was crying already. Like you know, you know when you chasing something, man, you trying to make this, trying to make this shit work. Well, so. And. Man, I remember this shit like yesterday. Bro. Like, I don't try to talk to her. She like, boy, if you don't go to sleep. I'm like, what? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, like. No okay. my, my man got time for that. And that, that made me cry even harder. So I just walked in, the, walked in the living room and I was just like, damn. Shit, like, all right, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. All right, man. man anyway, can... hey, listen. Hey, salute to Dizzy Banks. De Desi Banks gotta be one of my top, uh, what you wanna say, like social media comedians. You know what I'm saying? He he gotta be around my age and he seems to know how to display our trauma a lot. You know, like the what video of the dudes playing football and how we used to do intros and you know what I'm saying? So everything here, even the, the cash money joint, like y'all know I grew up on cash money records, goddamn. They're not over here, but if you look up, it's a big ass baller blocking poster. Like, I grew up on Cash Money. Lil Wayne is my favorite rapper of all time. So I really feel like he kind of um, does a crazy-ass job of making fun of 35 and up trauma, for sure. For me, it got down Desi, uh, Country Wayne, got down on... Um, uh, got down the Keith Lee, the fake Keith Lee, the one that be like, oh, I'll cover the four digits on my card, so you bitches won't scare me. Shout out to him, whatever his name is. Uh, hell yeah. Um... So yeah, man, let's look into it. You know what I'm saying? So the issue was he was with his his then girlfriend. I guess he wasn't bringing in the income. She decided to kick him out. And you know, in this particular video, he's you know kind of talking. He's a little a little sad about it, like she didn't believe in me or whatever. But he ain't really dogging her. So salute to him. You know, maybe she, that's debatable. So salute to him. This ain't no knock. So I have a few points I want to talk about. Right. So point number one. Why is having a dream a substitute for actually producing income? That's something I never really understood. You could dream to be something, but that don't mean you gotta be broke while you're pursuing it. And if you do have to be broke while pursuing it or lower your level of income or lower your lifestyle, then you should accept what comes with that. This is how I feel. And what might come with that is you not having a girlfriend. All right, I'm going to start with the horn. I'm going to start with the horn. You know what I'm saying? But that's why they call it sacrifice, because you're sacrificing the now for what is greater later, right? So if I work 16 hours a day, 12 hours a day, maybe I don't have time for a relationship. Maybe I don't have time to hang out with my friends and go to the club or even have time to 
do things that I like to do, like go fishing or something like that. Maybe I don't have that time right now. I'm grinding. I'm trying to get somewhere. I'm a comedian. I got to goddamn use my iPhone to make all these skits a hundred times a day. I don't have time for none of y'all. I'm sacrificing that now. I'm going to live a certain way now. So in 10 years, my content pays for me over and over residually. I can do these shows. Woo -do, woo -do, woo -do, woo -do, woo -do. That's just that's just simple sacrifice. And what kind of comes with that? Is that you don't have time for a lot of other things like uh you know y'all oh man I don't know if I can talk about this shit you know I'm Greek uh you know um and during the intake process you know you might not have time for a lot of shit <laughs> hey listen I had a girlfriend when I started then had a different girlfriend when I finished I ain't got, listen what what iceberg say I ain't got no time. I'm making money. The only thing on my mind is that and got that honey. I told my chick I'm on my grind. She said she understand. But even if she don't, she gonna have to get another man, baby. I ain't got no time. It's like that sometimes. Salute to her, though, for real. <laughs> Y'all gotta listen to my iceberg. And then to my second point, right? This is my second point. Y'all, y'all, y'all talk to me if y'all disagree or agree or whatever. Does it not cost money to have a girlfriend? Like in my opinion, having a girlfriend is a lot like having a car, right? Like you, if you have a car, you got to pay the insurance, you got to pay for gas, you got to pay for oil changes, and you got to pay for maintenance like tires and lights and any type of repairs, right? A girlfriend is the same way. If you have a girlfriend, you got to take out on dates. If you have a girlfriend, you got to buy Valentine's. These are standard. This is standard shit. If you have a girlfriend, you at least got to buy Valentine's Day, Christmas, and her birthday. This is off the rip. I didn't even make these rules up. This is not even cool. This is just basic boyfriend shit, right? Damn, that's a lot of money right there. Three holidays. You got to take out on dates. Fuck. And then everything else a little extra. Everything a little extra. Like if you if you want get a little like you know if you want you know what I'm saying like pay for her hair and nails every now and then. That's extra. If you want to buy her lunch, and uh, you know you say you buy her favorite snack when you think hey here's your favorite chip. That's extra. And it's in there, but it ain't in there. But the fact of the matter is that shit costs money. So how 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 does one expect to have a girlfriend? Without having income. That don't really make no sense. Hey, and once again, this ain't no knock on this. I, I feel like a lot of young men have been in this position, you know? We were trying to get somewhere, and we was young. And you know when you're young, you could kind of be broke and have a, you know, a bond with somebody or whatever. But what you're going to realize is that bond, like a bond and a relationship, ain't the same thing. You know what I'm saying? When you young, you 18, you 17, you 19, whatever, you can meet a young lady, y'all can like keep key it together and woo to woo. But at some point, you know, y'all gonna stop being kids and y'all gonna turn into adults. And she gonna wanna know how the hell you gonna be an adult and help her in her life. The, the jokes stop joking once it's time to be an adult. That's all I'm saying. Shout out to me. Somebody put that, you know, the, the jokes stop joking when it's time to be in the dark. Like, you know? And this, hey, this ain't no knock. This is one of my favorite comedians, but I feel like I feel like I was in the same way. But I refuse to give anybody any shine that consider themselves my ex-girlfriend. This show ain't about y'all. This show about me. Okay. I don't got no ex-girlfriend. Hey, you mean. And then to my uh, you know, my my third and final point, right? My third and final point. Was her decision to move on from the relationship a bad one? What, what y'all think? I'm going to start with this horn on the next show. I feel like whatever decision you make in your current time is a good decision. You made it for a reason. Now, I somewhat disagree. Nah, I, I really disagree with her kicking him out in the middle of the night. I think that's horrible. There's way, I mean, they probably were young. I'm assuming they were young. He didn't really say the age, I don't think. I'm assuming they were young. But, like, there's better ways to go about some shit like that. First of all, it's against the law. If y'all ever pay attention, you have a lot of tenant rights. People can't just kick, move y'all in and kick y'all out like that. 
Like, according to the law, the law is on your side when it comes to where you lay your head at. Remember that shit. You know what I mean? So I don't think her decision to move on was bad. Her decision to kick him out in the way she did was 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 not good. And that's what was somebody you cared about just because the relationship didn't work out. But her decision to move on wasn't bad at all. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like um if you're in a situation, that person isn't really providing, I guess, the needs that you feel as though you require. And as long as those needs aren't off of something like extremely superficial, I could understand. So like, let's say if, you know, Jit had a decent job or whatever, or a decent income and she just like, okay, but I want a certain kind of, you, I want you to have a certain kind of car, or I want you to take me on a certain kind of trips. Or woo, now we, now we could be like, oh, okay, like this, she tripping, like that ain't. You might not want to do that, but if you talking about, I guess having what a normal income for a dog, whatever normal is, or just you know, you out here providing and paying a little bit or whatever. I, I then she felt like it wasn't enough for her, and I can understand that. Um, I can't say that it happened to me, but you know, when I'm broke, I I stay single. Hey, listen, if y'all want to know, y'all want to know a secret, dog, you could, you could always tell when somebody gets some money because the first thing they're going to do is get a girlfriend and get a pregnant. Listen, that is a telltale sign. I, if you ever watched the goddamn uh, the Wu-Tang doc or the Wu-Tang show, uh, maybe both, they say all they, I, I, quote me if I'm wrong, I don't correct me if I'm wrong, but they say all their kids are around the same age because the second they started getting money and becoming like millionaires or whatever, they all had kids. They all had babies. Hey, what what dudes do when they hit the when they hit the military 18, get buried for that that extra benefit check? Have a baby. You know what I'm saying? Normally when dudes find some type of stability, that'd be their first go to. So that's a telltale sign you wanna see. If you wanna tell if somebody has stabilized their life. They gonna get a girlfriend, you know what I mean? So I I don't know. Anyway, but let's move on. We're gonna go to the forty eight lives of power. Robert Green, what you gotta say about this situation? Let's see. This is one of the best. This is this. Mind you, if I bring this on this show, this is not the Bible. I just brought it on here because I read it and I like it. Let's see what Robert Green gotta say about this shit. Uh, y'all know how to read? I don't know if y'all know how to read. I'm gonna read to y'all. Okay. It's <laughs> just reading out loud. Do I, do I got to get my old boy to sound off on this shit? Okay. So in this case of uh, Desi Banks versus his ex-girlfriend, Robert Green, uh, I'm going to pick a law that I think kind of goes along with what happened here. Ready? Okay. Law number 23, concentrate your forces. Conserve, conserve your forces and energies by keeping them concentrated at their strongest point. You gain more by finding a rich mind and mining it deeper than by flitting from one shallow mind to another. Intensity defeats extensity every time. I don't even know what extensity is. When looking for sources of power to elevate you, find the one key patron, the fat cow who will give you milk for a long time to come. I really don't even know what all that means. Listen, I could, I could read, I guess, but you know my ability to interpret is... Is off. Anyways, concentrate your forces, right? So at that particular young age, Desi should have concentrated his forces. That means you probably should not have a girlfriend and all your focus should have been on those skits that got you rich. Those skits that we love. <laughs> Salute to Desi. The skits that we love today. You know what I'm saying? Because you I think not, not having a girlfriend don't mean you don't care for that person. It don't mean that you can't interact with anybody. It just means that at this particular point, I may not be able to handle that responsibility of a girlfriend. And now I'll see you later. Cause it's greater later. Iceberg said that too. Y'all need to listen to more Iceberg. Hey, that's the show. Hey, uh, salute to Desi Banks. He's one of my favorite comedians. Salute to Uncle Shay Shay. Um, that was a long ass podcast, but he out here doing numbers. Salute to Robert Green for find, for writing the 48 Laws of Power, Law Number 23, Concentration Forces. Think about it. My name is Matt. Hey, come back to my um my YouTube channel. I'm gonna try to make another video, but for the time being, I want to wish you all a good evening. And I'm doing better than I deserve. <laughs> hey, I'll talk to y'all soon, man.